When creating an assignment in Canvas, there's a couple different ways students can turn content into you. So for example, if I go in to create a new assignment, I'm going to create this one as going to be a file upload. In this case, what I want to do is this is the final project. I want to be able to give kids feedback, but I'm not expecting them to go back and make any changes and resubmit. So file upload is the better way of turning content in. So I could scroll down on the page. I select file uploads, make sure it's online. I could give it some points. And then go ahead and schedule the assignment out and then hit Save and Publish. Another type of way students can turn stuff in is through a link. So this time I'm going to go in and use Assignment, File Link. Okay. And in this case, this is really great to use with um, Google products because You'll be able to have students turn in the link to you, and then you can actually make comments directly on the document that they've turned into you. So when I come in here, this time it's going to be a website URL that I'm going to select as the way it's going to be turned into me. And then again, down here, I select my due date, save and publish. Okay. So I have my two assignments, um, again, being able to turn it in two different ways. Now let's take a look on the student end of things. So I'm now the student and I'm going to go into assignments. And here are my two new assignments. So I'm going to do the file upload example first. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Student will click on submit assignment. It's sitting in their Google Drive. I can go ahead and click on the file and submit the assignment. Okay. Again, my Canvas course has been linked to my Google account, which allows me access to the documents. The other example is the file links. So when I click on that assignment and go and submit it, what I'm going to want to do is get the URL from the file I want to share. So here's my Google Doc. It's already been shared, and that's key. This file has to be shared with you as the teacher in order for you to be able to see it. Then I go ahead and just copy that URL, and I paste it in to the assignment. So those are the two different ways students can turn content into you. Now let's take a look at, well, what does it look like on the teacher end? So now as the teacher, I'm going to go in and look at those assignments. So down here, I have my file upload example. So I click on it. I can go into SpeedGrader. Here is the document. Okay, so I can see the document. I can give the student a grade. I can't really, you know, make any direct edits or anything like that to the file. Um, I can make comments over here on the side or across the top of the page. Okay. For the other example, so I'm going to go back to um, assignments. Mm -hmm. and go down to link. This time when I go into SpeedGrader, I actually get a link to the Google Doc. So I can go ahead and click on it. I'm in here and I can add comments. Okay, I can make comments to the document. I can edit the document so I'm actually working live inside the student assignment that they've turned in. So again, you could do file upload, you can do 
file link. And one of the great things is the fact that you can do the file link with slides, sheets, and docs. So, and you can do the same thing with the file upload. Again, just really depending on what you want to be able to do with the assignment and the type of feedback you want to give the students.